Good evening. This is Maestro Cretella with a Dawn of War 2 Retribution Strategy Guide. Yeah, this is a little bit of a strategy guide. So there was a little while ago when I said that I was planning to make some Sorcerer Strategy Guides and then I kind of never really did it. So, here we go. And we're starting out today, we're going to be talking about this guy, Sindri, Trollface, Chaos Sorcerer. And we are going to be talking about the Sigil of the Rift. The Sigil of the Rift, an accessory for the Sorcerer, cost 100 requisition, 20 power, it is a tier 1 war gear, and it grants the Warp Rift ability, transporting infantry units from one point to another through the Immaterium. We'll get that started right Ready now. The incantations and prepare to master the warp. So, very basically, the Sigil of the Rift allows you to teleport a unit from one place to another. If we look at the Sigil of the Rift, it has massive range, uh, longer range than one screen. And you can even teleport a unit outside of sight range. You can see that. Um, I'll even show you that right now. We'll just teleport one unit. Teleport it as far as we can. So we have a heretic squad right there. And now that heretic squad is all the way over here. Both sides of the teleport function is entrance and exit. So you can teleport a unit to a location as demonstrated before, or you can teleport a unit back to your sorcerer. See the power of the warp. There. When you teleport something with the Sigil of the Rift, you're not limited to just one infantry unit. You can actually teleport as many units as will fit inside the warp rift. As it says in the description for the Warp Rift ability, the sorcerer, the rift remains open or active so long as the sorcerer channels energy to it. And what that means is that it will actually teleport your unit to a location and back if you leave the rift open. We'll take a look at that right now. See the power of the warp. To prevent this from happening, simply cancel the rift after you teleport the unit as much as you want to. To do this, you just right select the sorcerer and then right click to have him move and cancel the teleport. See the power of the warp. The sigil of the rift does not distinguish between enemy units and friendly units, so you can actually teleport both and even at the same time. in mind that the first entrance to the Sigil of the Rift always appears right above and to the right of the Sorcerer, whereas the other one, of course, appears wherever you point it to. In practice, this is often used to pull units out of position. This is most commonly done against setup teams, which can't dodge the rift, and can be wiped with a build of two heretics. This is particularly effective in team games, where your teammates can help you mob the setup team. also use it to chase down a fleeing vehicle with an AV unit such as a LAS cannon. When you're teleporting a LAS cannon, you want to teleport it in front of the vehicle so that it's still facing in the direction of the vehicle with its firing arc. You 
can also do it with Plague Marines. With Plague Marines, however, you actually want to teleport them behind the vehicle to create a pincer effect, because they can actually afford to be behind enemy lines, and also because they don't need to set up. Another use of the Sigil of the Rift is to chase down retreating units by teleporting your units into your opponent's retreat path. The Sigil of the Rift allows a lot of room for creativity and has many more uses, such as turning any unit into a jump unit. Pulling a unit off of a capture point. Getting around a turret. Pulling units out of base to wipe them. and chasing down pesky manticores. As they say, knowledge is power. Have a good night.